We're going to take this guy out to the deep waters, lads. See if he's wearing his life jacket. This is what you need to do, Ronaldinho. Bit of dribbling, bit of movement. Try and wait for the cut in. Left stick dribbling. Beautiful. Finish! Ronaldinho! That's how you do it, baby. And a celebration. Boom! What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to another player review. Today we are taking a look at Mr. Samba himself. R10. Stop it. Get some help. Ronaldinho. Do you like that one? Best skills, ultimate build, best stats to train up, as well as a couple of tips and tricks. And we're going to show you beastly gameplay, some lovely clips, some lovely goals. And of course, Ronaldinho is all about having fun, man. Remember that thing? Fun with video games? Ronaldinho is definitely one of the best players to dribble with. So we're going to do a skill showcase of him as well with a tutorial for those asking. But for this, we're going to basically answer the question. Is Ronaldinho a beast or is he a bust? Let's go. Let's get into it. Alright boys, you know what we do, no waffle, no messing around, let's just cut to the chase. A lot of what's good about Ronaldinho in terms of his entertainment value, his dribbling, a lot of this is not going to work with where the collision system is at at the moment, and the fact that every single player is like prime Roy Keane when they intercept you. It doesn't matter if it's Messi, Pedri or Rijkaard, they all tackle and are all able to push you around the place if you dribble a lot. Now that's not to say that Ronaldinho doesn't have a place. We did spin him on our live stream. If you missed the live stream, there's a lot of raw footage there of Ronaldinho. He definitely is a connoisseur of eFootball in how he plays. I would say that he's probably one of the best dribblers in the game. His movement, his AI, everything is fantastic. We got him in five spins. So we had five 10-pack spins and we did get him. As I said, you can check out the raw footage over on the live stream, which we did on Monday. Now, with Ronaldinho, as I said, you're going to see some clips here. Does he kind of hold up if you're playing against, you know, very aggressive players? Well, we tested him out in events today. We tested him in a couple of games against guys that were Division 1, Division 2. There was one guy that was Division 3. And listen, if you can get into these positions with Ronaldinho, Ronaldinho is capable of scoring bangers and scoring really, really nice goals and really good dribble goals. It's again, a little slide and finish. It's not the prettiest of goals, not the basic, uh, most basic of goals that you're going to see as well. Um... But it's all about his positioning. The biggest thing I would say with Ronaldinho is the kind of force field that's around him when he gets into these positions if you're able to do a bit of skills, right? And if you're able to do ball roll or double touch, you'll see that this is where he is at his most electrifying best, like The Rock in the ring for WWE. I don't know why I'm talking about The Rock. But anyway, where this is where he's at his most electrifying best is when he's in this position here and he's able to slot the ball into dangerous positions. Like when you get the ball in here, you can't touch him. Honestly, man, his dribbling is fantastic. Lovely. Even though we make a mistake, we're just showing off here with him. He wins it back. Lovely little ball roll and then a sliding finish into the bottom corner. If you like getting into these into these positions, Ronaldinho is the man for you. He's definitely one of the best players I've used to dribble. Now, I dribble a lot to my detriment, but you can also go a little bit more standard play with him to kind of have tap-ins and stuff like that. And his feet, his reactions, everything are really good. Obviously, connection dependent. The big question is, as I said at the start, how does he feature up against aggressive players? Well, if you do actually streamline your game and you just shoot on sight, as you see here with this left foot finish, Ronaldinho is definitely capable of being a beastly attacking midfielder. It all depends on how you train him. Now, I would definitely recommend a build for Ronaldinho based on playing him in an attacking midfielder role. If you want a left wing position, it's going to be a very, very different build with lots of different skills. This is one of the players in the game that you kind of have to train in a specific way. These are the stats that we've gone for here and his attributes. You've got really high acceleration and really high balance. We wanted to get that balance and the acceleration up as high as we possibly could to test out. And of course, he's got 99 type possession as well. Now, in hindsight, I'm going to give you a tip, okay? I would definitely, with the training guide I'm going to show you here in a second with the player progression, I would actually change one thing here. And it would be to take two out of dexterity and pop one more into dribbling and one more into lower body if it goes or else one more into shooting. It depends on how many progression points that you have there. But the dexterity at 90 balance is going to be more than enough. And also, you don't need 98 acceleration on this card. Maybe when the re free reset comes back, we'll do it. We also actually gave him long range shooting and gamesmanship. If you are, we are going to be waiting to add true passing to him and low lofted pass because he is missing, even though he's got some good stats, he's actually missing quite a lot of passing stats, which is our passing skills, which is a bit of a concern 
unless you're shooting a lot with this Ronaldinho. That's why we want to have 85 passing, 85 uh, shooting, and we want to have his dribbling and balance exceptionally good. Now, people have asked me about the old school classic Ronaldinho as well as the new big time. Well, I have the old school original OG Ronaldinho legend card from way back in eFootball 2022. This was one of the first cards that I ever got, and you can do a little comparison there. One of the biggest selling points of Ronaldinho is his skill set, right? And we're going to get into that. So the new booster Ronaldinho from the rip, without having to train him or give him any skills, you don't need to give him double touch, soul control, or ball roll. He has all three, which enables you to do this ball roll that you're seeing on screen right here. Also, with this original Ronaldinho, he does not have double touch. So you have to train double touch to him as an additional skill, which is a bit of a lottery. Obviously, it's just, you know, look whether you get a skill that you want or not to give him that. So that's one thing as well to keep in mind. And also with this Ronaldinho... He's just got a bag of tricks, but a lot of these skills like scissors feints and this kind of slow down signature animation, that's not really going to work online. You're better off to keep things flowing with Ronaldinho and he definitely can get into really good positions for tap-ins as you see here. He can finish a lot of stuff, but this is where he's at his most dangerous lads, even though we don't score here. Turning the defender and very, very direct. Now that's just to round it off with the skills, true passing, long range sh shooting, first time shot, gamesmanship, and you can also add low loft that I forgot to put that on there as well. If you guys want a kind of classic Ronaldinho left wing coming in off the, off the flank, playing him as kind of an outright winger that shoots, kind of like I suppose he played back in his prime where he was really, really rocket fast. I remember him playing against Madrid that time. I always remember that game where he was just lightning quick on the left flank. I will do a build on left winger as well. But let me know what you think of Ronaldinho. Did you spin or not? Don't forget to subscribe and I will be back very, very soon. Peace.